Hi my friends, today we model this part which is a hand wheel which has this uh, ring, four spokes and a hub with a protrusion for a handle. The drawing contains all the data and you can see that uh, the spoke is from here to here at six millimeters distance from the center and uh, the section of this uh, spoke is an ellipse with uh, 11 on 4 millimeters diameter that's all interesting so let's start new standard millimeters IPT sketch XY circle with a radius radius of 11 and now three lines one two three we apply the constraint coincident between these two we trim the external arc and we apply the distance of 14 <laughs> just 14 okay finish sketch revolve this is the axis okay now the ring the ring is the radius 6 diameter of 70 and distance from the bottom of 26 let's do this XY sketch F7 circle with a radius 6 the distance from the center to the bottom is 26 the distance to the center is half of 70 70 divided by 2 finish sketch revolve I am uh, invited to select the axis the axis is Y I select Y from the browser okay now the spoke the spoke is defined here as you can see a point here at 6 from the center point for us and the other end is in the center of the uh, section of the ring the section of the spoke is uh, an ellipse 11 on 4 let's create this uh, feature to do this we create a new sketch F7 with a line from somewhere here to somewhere here the end point from the bottom is on the same horizontal with the center point then I project uh, an arc and I place the other end 
here the distance from the center point to this end is 6 now we have a line to be used for creating a plane plane select line select end of the line and we have the plane for creating the section of the spoke this point is not projected but I'll project it now it is and we create an ellipse an ellipse which is defined as you can see its dimensions are for the halves this is 11 divided by 2 and the other is 4 divided by 2 then we place the center of this ellipse in the projected point not dimension but coincident center on point finish sketch extrude to the part Good. Okay. This is not necessary, and the sketch as well not visible. We multiply the spoke, this feature, about the y axis in four not six instances now we have the main body next we create that uh, protrusion uh, this you see this one which is placed at one millimeter from uh, this uh, generator but for us, interesting is from this face, 26 plus 6 plus 1 is the plane where we place a circle of 10. Face for the plane, plane with minus, minus. 26 minus 6 minus 1 okay I make this plane as large as the part and now I use it for a new sketch a sketch with a circle with diameter not radius of 10 this is placed on the same horizontal with the center point and at a distance of 70 divided by 2 finish sketch extrude to the part ok visibility good the protrusion has a hole a hole of metric 6 for 8 millimeters and a hole for 11 millimeters depth good hole face center 
And now you see all dimensions already placed. They are isometric profile, 6 millimeters. Um, not full depth on a distance. This is the distance. This is the uh, thread. 12 and 70. Not 12, 8. This is 8 and this is 11. Okay. You see now how it looks and it doesn't go outside. The, the other hole is a square. You see this square with seven as a dimension of a side. Okay. Here is the sketch. I go to polygon with four, not six, sides. This center and this point done. Horizontal is this line, it, any line. And dimension is seven. almost seven. Finish sketch, extrude, cut through the part. Okay. See? Now fillets. Fillets are radius two for the spoke and radius one for this protrusion. Okay. I select one of them. Two is by default. And I place for eight times at the ends of the spokes. Then plus one millimeter for this. Okay. That's all my friends. Let's apply a material which I select uh, carbon semi-polished, okay, you can select other aspect, but this is very good, and the volume, the volume is here, update, copy, Close, double click, and the dimension, which is almost the same, yes? As you know, we keep the last value, because this is what I did here. look to them only the light is different that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye